First, a year-long battle between an upstate utility company and a group of homeowners appears to be over. Spartanburg Commission of Public Works has dropped a requirement that lakefront property owners sign a land access agreement. Spartanburg Water had said that agreement was aimed to make sure future property owners around Lake Blaylock, Lake Bowen, and Municipal Reservoir 1 were aware of those rules. But as our 7 News Ben Hoover reports, that agreement's been, it's been tossed out. That's right, Gordon. I spoke with Spartanburg Water this afternoon. A spokeswoman said that a big reason that they can this agreement is pushed back by the homeowners. Those homeowners are reacting to the news tonight. They are pleased, but some say there's more to be done. It all started last summer when homeowners started to learn Spartanburg Water owned and managed the lakes and reservoirs they lived along. Homeowners like Dan Hargett, who lives on Lake Bowen. We believe that's a, uh, that's a great first step. That's Hargett reacting to Spartanburg Water voting to pull a land access agreement that was very unpopular out in these parts. The commission made that decision really just based on the fact that um, they wanted to listen to the adjacent property owners. That document was aimed at claiming a portion of this property that's not on anybody's deed. The back and forth between homeowners and the utility came to a head when the utility announced a press pause program. That gave homeowners an extension in order to make changes to things like their docks and lakeside porches while applying for a permit rather than waiting for a permit to start work. But certainly we want to work with those property owners. The utility spokeswoman Jennifer Candler told us the land access agreement will no longer be a part of the press pause program and Hargett says that's a good thing. And then push you off the lake, not access to your boats, your you know, use of the water, anything you wanted to. So it was a really bad document. But he says the fight isn't quite over. The next step is a set of rules and regulations being considered by Spartanburg Water, rules that Hargett and others believe go way too far. They came out with 84 pages of rules. Yeah. 84 pages of rules that I don't believe that any normal person could memorize them and, and honor all of them. Believes that things started to turn in favor of the homeowners when they brought up financial issues and enlisted Trey Gowdy as their legal representation earlier this year. In the studio, Ben Hoover, 7 News. All right, Ben, thank you. Of course, you can count on 7 News to keep following this story, especially as the Public Works Commission and Spartanburg Water continue to work on the latest proposed rules and regulations. Debbie, does Anderson